有一間咧，木二樓咧，有一間叫飲茶噶，你睇住啲車啊！就有一間咧，呢間專係俾人哋阿婆飲茶嘅，一盅兩件。君爺，你有冇去飲過茶？係咪啊？一盅兩件，啲阿婆阿伯嗰度飲茶傾偈噶嘛？而家係咪冇咗咯？冇咗好耐，冇得食。所以而家我哋都好希望開翻間咁樣鋪頭啦，有魚有肉有乜嘢都有咁樣，個個啲老人家行過嚟都買得到咁咪啦。to pass the torch to the next generation or to the next owner. But right now it's hard to recruit people. It's, we, we don't have enough uh, younger people coming into this industry. You know, the next, the, our next generation, they all, they all IT people or all professionals. We need to get more people from outside, like from, from Hong Kong or China, they come in with you can call this as low skill. People come in, they would like to come into this industry, working in the kitchen, working in the bakery. Uh, lots of interaction with the local businesses. We go buy fresh produce every day, uh, fresh fish every day. Our menu changes all the time. So we, I think, are part of that economy and help support that economy that's down here as well. For the past uh, year and a half, we've been doing these Chinatown Mahjong socials. Um, we wanted to have some consistent activity in the neighborhood. And, uh, and so we set up it right in the square um, to have free play Mahjong um, and invite residents in the area, young people, um, anyone to come out and play and have a cultural activity. We also host a program called Saturday School. And so the Cantonese classes um, are held at Mankeung School, which is uh, in the building of the Wang Benevolent Association, a historic space, the first Chinese school in Vancouver. And the first hour is focused on language, kind of like what you would learn in a travel book, um, common phrases, and then afterwards we go on field trips in the neighborhood. And the whole reason why we started um, was because we didn't feel like there was a place where we could plug in. There wasn't an organization that was focused on young people doing things in the neighborhood. Um, so we decided to just do it ourselves.